Hello viewers, welcome to a new video of uh, Tier 4 tutorials. It's been very long since I've uploaded a video on this channel. Um, it was a busy year with some, uh, what say, personal stuff. So uh, anyway, I'm planning to be back, uh, planning to be active on the channel again. I've also planned for some good content uh, in the coming days or coming weeks. Uh, first of all, thank you for your feedbacks. I've received a lot of positive as well as negative feedbacks. Uh, your positive feedbacks have encouraged me, whereas your negative feedbacks have uh, taught me a lot of new lessons. So, thank you for that. First of all, thank you for your subscriptions and everything, and also for your support. Anyway, what I'm planning now is this time we will be starting with a series uh, where it's just for beginners like people who don't have who have no idea about flying this series is targeted at them you can start from the very basics of flying we will go through the very basics of flying uh, like the flight instruments the, the primary and secondary flight controls the flight dynamics and all the stuff so we will start from zero and we will try our first VFR circuit by the end of this video. So that's what I planned for this time. And that's it. So without further ado, let's get started. So before going any further, let me tell you this. We will not be getting into in-depth technical uh, details of anything. Because I don't think a flight sim will require that. And it's just for beginners so I think uh, we will just stick to the basics uh, just brush the surface of the technical details and uh, we will get started and if you really want to know all those in-depth technical stuff and then I think you should put down in the comment box and I will try to my best to make a video on that uh, and we'll plan different series for that but not in this one in this we will just plan uh, we just focus on basics of flying uh, just for beginners the first thing we are going to discuss here is the flight dynamics. So there are basically four forces that act on a flight when it's flying. There is thrust that is generated by the engine that uh, pushes the flight forward. And then there is this drag that works against the thrust, reducing the speed. And there is lift that is generated by the wings that lets you climb away from the runway and keep airborne and there is weight that contracts the lift now that means that the more drag you have the more thrust you need the more weight you have the more lift you need that being said let's discuss the three motions that an aircraft can have so there are three dimensions of motion uh, namely pitch roll and yaw we'll see each of them in detail now so first of all pitch pitch is when you bring your nose up uh, push your nose down this helps you climb and descend and uh, this also changes your vertical direction and second one is called roll the second motion is called roll and this is when you bring a wing down and the opposite wing up or vice versa as you see on the screen and the third motion is called yaw now, uh, yaw is when you turn your nose to the left or right. Now, yaw in com combination with roll helps you turn your aircraft, as you see on the screen. And uh, all these three motions combined helps you <laughs> fly around. Uh, there are certain structures on an airplane that manipulate the airflow around the airplane and let you control these three motions. Now, uh, those uh, those uh, structures are called primary flight controls, about which we will be talking in the next video in this series. And we will be also talking about how an aircraft is flying and uh, all those principles. So, uh, stay tuned and until next video, see you and bye-bye.